rage that's burning. Oncers, the identities of the new actors on Once Upon a Time for Season 7 have finally been revealed. Let's break it down. What's going on, y'all? I hope you had a great Comic-Con. If you went, if you didn't, hope you had a blast binging all the interviews and panels of your favorite cast. One of the shows that brought some big news to Comic-Con was Once Upon a Time, which will kick off its seventh season on October 6th on ABC, which note, it's on a new night. By now, I'm sure you've heard that the show is getting a reset or a reinterpretation or kind of a reboot. Something like that as many of our beloved characters are out and new ones are in. One of those is Danya Ramirez Ramirez, who, as it was announced the week before at the D23 Expo, will be playing a new version of Cinderella and the mother of grown-up Henry's child, Lucy. Now, a trailer was shown for Season 7, which not only shows my fave hook and cop uniform, but also gives us a glimpse at the new faces we'll be meeting. So joining Cinderella, Rose Reynolds, who will be playing Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Adelaide Kane, who will be Cinderella's stepsister, Drizella, Makia Cox from Chicago Med, who will be playing Princess Tiana from The Princess and the Frog, and Gabrielle Anwar, who will be playing Lady Tremaine, Cinderella's wicked stepmother. But note, of those new characters, only Danya and Gabrielle are series regulars. Now, how exactly will the show work and explain these characters, some of which we've obviously seen before during Emma's journey in previous seasons? Well, producer Eddie Kitts has said... We had a plan for the original show that ran six seasons and at a point we felt like it was time for characters to get their happy endings and what we're going to do now is go on a new adventure and so if your real fear is oh my god are you going to erase the last six years we are not but we are going to take a few new characters and we're going to go on a new journey is there um can various versions of the characters exist in the same time like i know we can see regina and the evil queen at the same time can we see two cinderellas in the same realm at the same time? Well, I think, you know, the, the two Reginas were based on a, on a on splitting herself. Yeah. And then, of course, we saw a wish realm. So I don't think that when we see Danya, we're going to also run into Jessie Schramm because she's in Storybrooke married and and I believe she was she's teaching still, a Mommy yeah. and Me class. Yeah, she's running a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and that's mommy still and going me. down. It's doing well. Yeah, it's doing really well. She's Happy expanding. Ending. She's, she's more opening kids. A, yeah. <laughs> now, fans at the panel were treated to the opening scene from Season 7, which shows Henry saying goodbye to Regina and driving through a beam to a new land, where years later, in that other realm, he is riding a motorcycle and has a fender bender with Cinderella and thus starts their love affair. So yes, young Henry, played by Jared Gilmore, will be seen in the season premiere, and he isn't the only face that will pop up throughout the series. We do have Hook, Regina, and Rumble returning to help the grown-up Henry, who is in trouble as he navigates these other storybook realms. But don't worry, these three characters that we know and love will not be playing new versions of themselves. They'll be the same versions we know, just called upon by Henry. However, don't count out all those characters that left the show at the end of season six. Showrunner Adam Horowitz has said that as the show evolves and we're telling some of these new stories and chapters, it's our hope that we'll be seeing a lot of them pop up from time to time. This isn't the end. Well, it can be said that Emily DeRaven, who plays Belle, was one of those characters and she's already signed on to make her return in season seven. Entertainment Weekly spilled that she will be returning for at least one episode. In particular, it's episode four, which will provide an update on Belle. It was also revealed during the Comic-Con panel that there are plans to do an LGBT storyline this year. Now, they've obviously touched on this in the past with Mulan and Aurora and Ruby and Dorothy, but it seems like this storyline might be more prominent. Yeah. I would say uh, that we are uh, planning to do it this year. All right, so those were really the big reveals from Once Upon a Time from Comic-Con. Now, I know I've been a little skeptical about this kind of reset of the show, as have others, but I do like the actors involved, so I'm open to giving it a chance. I mean, they always say don't judge a book by its cover, right? So maybe we should really give this new story, Brooke, book a chance? I guess we're just gonna have to wait until October 6th to really make a judgment. Now sound off in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts on these reveals and what other characters you want to see pop up on the show. Then you can click right over here for Riverdale news from Comic-Con and don't forget to subscribe. I'm Lisa, I'll see you real soon. Yeah, who are you? My name's Lucy. I'm your daughter. I don't have a daughter. Yeah, you do. Now come on, your family needs
needs you. 